take you towards our grow room. You can see the plants inside. See some interesting things stacked up here. I was just a little short on my plastic. I just got it a little off center and it was barely touching and the cat got in there and knocked over some of my oak trees because it was nice and warm. Of course, the furnace is gonna fire off. I got some extra little thumbtacks holding it down tight there. The furnace is gonna go off once I come down here. Here's the room. Smells like a plant room. Got oaks here. You can see some of them kind of got knocked over, have some wrinkled leaves. He was laying right up on there. And you can see that these trees are starting to reach the lights and I'm gonna have to raise them to keep ahead of them. Uh, they usually get a good start, grow to be about 18 to 20 inches and then really put out a lot of leaf mass. And then maybe they're starting to do their next flush of leaves up when it comes time in about a month or so for me to put them outside. So these chestnuts right here are the Dunstan variety. We'll just look down at their roots here. I got them hanging off the side. Most of the trees are dead center. And then these roots do air prune down at the bottom of these cone tainers. I had wrongly called these depots. I do have depots, but these cone tainers are amazing. If you've been following on my Instagram or Facebook, you saw me post a similar picture to this of the chestnut orchard all close together. And then they'll be outplanted or sold. And then next to them are the English white oak. Then we'll move on over here. We're really starting to see some growth from the hazelnuts. I don't plant, I didn't plant any of these until they already had roots out. So they're really starting to sprout. Now you can see the soil's pretty moist. I watered them yesterday. Yeah, I have some vegetables and marigolds and peppers and tomatoes growing here. We'll get those transplanted to different pots here over time. You can see I have some tomatoes here right now. And then over here, let's see. Got Hong Kong. And they have that little angle because they're angling up towards the light. They're just on the edge of the light. So every, you know, couple, not maybe once a week or so, I I do a, a spin of the pot. And these trees can really bend. They're pretty acrobatic. I once saw a video of a guy, one of the professors that's doing the GMO chestnut tree that he titled it the dance of the chestnuts. And he had a time-lapse video showing how even without moving the lights, the trees just kind of wave over time and move and bend as they as they grow up it was a pretty neat little video. If I can find that video, I'll post a link to it. Then over here's Jersey Jim, nestled up against the plastic here, looking pretty good. You know, I've heard some people making some comments about chestnuts with some red in them. I don't have any of those, but I do have chestnuts Almost all of them have some red as the leaves first come out. And you can see that kind of red in these leaves as they're opening. We talked about you've had comments and most of you are growing. You've had issues with damping off. And we can talk about damping off now because I have some. It seems like every year I have some. I mean, I do every year. Yeah, I think it's impossible to completely avoid it. And it's just complex. It's uh, something with the nut. Uh, it's too much moisture, fungal, uh, something. Anyway, I'll pull one out here and we'll take a look at it. So this right here is a tree that has is dampening damping off that's what they call this 
and it's hard to keep it in complete focus because there's not much there. But if you look closely, you can see that every little leaf is too small and there's a little bit of a black look to it. And it tries to send up a new stem. And the way I treat this is most likely it's gonna die. But the only way I've personally found to keep it, keep it going and potentially salvage a tree out of it is I just completely quit watering it. And if I quit watering it, and I mean dry, dry, it'll often suddenly send up a sprout that'll do fine. And then as that leaf gets open, then I'll start watering it again. But that's the only way I've personally found to do it. So you can see, looking down in here, deep in the middle of the beautiful green, you will see another one struggling with dampening damp off. And we're gonna have to wait for it and see what it can do. I'll have to pull that one out. And we'll let that one get so that I don't accidentally water it as as I'm watering back there just kind of randomly and uh, here's a bigger example of damp off this tree is is experiencing this now I'll try to get something with some background it's got that dark look to its leaf and the leaf is not opening properly So I'll just keep feeding these beautiful trees with occasional watering. You know, with these little four inch pots, I'm watering, you know, once every four to five days, maybe every six days. I keep it about 70, 75 degrees in here. And these damping off plants I will not do anything with. I won't I won't do any watering of them until they get completely uh, back to normal. Anyway, wandering back over to the other side of the plant room here. Glad things are growing here. Things are looking great. And uh, I hope things are growing well for you guys. And Hopefully pretty soon we'll be greening up in the orchard. We had a couple real warm days and now we've got snow flying outside. And this is April 20th, maybe 21st. I'm not real sure, I'm not oriented to date. So never do a stroke scale with the date for me. I'll know the month and the year maybe. All right, well, I hope everything's going well for you. Hopefully you got your plants growing. Hopefully you got more growing than you have damping off or not sprouting. Remember if you're not growing, you're dying. Thanks for following us here at Lake Erie Chestnuts.